Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about two ways to terminate our fiber optic cable. Well, first we're going to talk about what's a fiber optic cable. As we all know that the fiber optic cable has many benefits. Well, one is it has wider bandwidth, which can supply a lot of applications. Then it can transmit farther than the Ethernet cable because Ethernet cable is copper. This is uh, you know, optical signal. And third, it has less interference. Less interference means, you know, because it's bouncing off inside, so there's like nothing that can interfere mostly. So, but we can see right here the fiber optic cable, the connectors are different from the Ethernet cable connectors. The Ethernet cable connectors, the Ethernet cable connectors here, are a crystal head. Well, these are like very smaller than these, the crystal heads. Usually there are two ways to apply these connectors to our fiber optic cable. One is the field termination and the other is the factory termination. We also have the pre-termination process. Let's talk about the field terminating process first. The field terminating process, it means that these two connect the connectors are applied right in the place we want our cables to line up. So it has advantage like flexibility. You know, however we want to design our layouts, we can use how long we ever we want, like you say 571 meters, that's all we can use and we use a little bit more for the connect, uh, connectors. But the downside is first, we lining up is pretty simple, but then when we, you know, find the end, one end, we're going to have to use a very precise tool to cut the edge. After cutting it, we have to use a precise tool to match the fiber optic cable with the connector. When they match closely, then we're going to have to use a precise tool again to seal it. And the seal has to be very tight, there's no cracks allowed. Any crack will end up in, you know, signal loss. So there's a lot of work at the connect connecting the connector process, even though, you know, sometimes... And it also consumes material, because after you connect it, you're going to have to test it. If there's a little crack, there's going to be signal loss. And the signal loss, you're going to have to redo the whole process one more time. So redoing the process another time means you're going to have to use another strand again. So it consumes a lot of material. So this is the field terminating process. Then let's talk about the factory terminating. The factory terminating and also the pre-terminating cables. The factory terminated cables, it's really easy because all the testing and connect connecting the connectors are done in the factory, so it's ready to use when you get it. It's like right here. And then we can just connect these to you know our switches or to our devices, you know, but we still need the converters and the modules. It's really like a dumbed down uh, version. So we can all we have to do is plant it and then connect it. We don't have to worry if we have like a couple meters left. We can just roll it and use a zip line, zip tie to kind of tie it up so it would be that messy. That's like the only downside. You can't make sure how much you need. You only can approximate like if you need f around 400, 470, you have to buy 500 meters in case there's not enough. So that is our pre-terminated fiber optic cable. Now let's take a look at our fast cabling product. This is our fast cabling pre-terminated fiber optic cable. This one, you can see the one edge, this is one of the ends. This end has like a cover to protect the, uh, you know, protect the cable because most of the fiber optic cables are very fragile. You can't bend or pull it too hard or the inside tube is going to you know, have cracks. So there's a neon out cover over here. We can pull it over here. And there's this little hook place here. You can hook it to like, um, you know, hooks and you can pull it with that. So it can make your installing process more easy. And also there's like a pulley system down here. So you can, you know, uh, station this somewhere and pull it. So it's gonna save you a lot of energy. Also, we are all designed with two strands. 
these two strands, you can use both of them, one for upload, one for download, so the network is more flexible. But if you only want to use one strand, that's okay too. But if you only use one strand, you have to make sure that you connect A with A. So the both, they have to be the same, cap uh, same cable, or, you know, there's, there can be zero connection. Also, you can see that the cables outside is made with special material, so most environments can support this cable, so there's like, it won't break the outer ring. Now, let's just talk about how should we actually choose between two determinations. Well, field determinated cables, if you're not worrying about the cost and time, like you're not on a schedule, you don't have a budget, that would be like perfect because it can be like zero, it looks pretty. But if you're like on a budget where you have to catch a schedule, pre-terminated, -pre factory terminated are your best choice because once you buy a home, just pull out the cord and then plug it in, then your system will be connected. So it's pretty efficient and simple. There's no need for, you know, some tech guy here. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, please leave them at the comment section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.